Hi there, everybody. So I own a MacBook Pro with a Japanese industry standard keyboard, and for the longest time, uh, I wanted to set up Debian with Japanese input. Um, so this can be done in a virtual machine, or it can be done on a regular Debian installation. This is the actual process of getting Japanese input set up on it. Uh, as far as I know, this works on Wheezy and Squeeze. Uh, but for obvious reasons, I'm making this easy by recording it inside of a virtual machine. So this is a Debian installation with the post configuration. So I'm going to show you right here. If I press the Kana key on my keyboard, I can switch to Hiragana or Katakana in this case. So if I press it again, now I'm in Hiragana. So and then English key back to English. So uh, it does work. Let me shut this down real quick. And then I'll show you how the configuration works. So I own a MacBook Pro with a Japanese industry standard keyboard. And the keyboard looks like this. So you'll notice that some of the biggest problems are that the symbols are moved around. It's not the keyboard layout itself. The Latin keys are all in the same place. So as far as typing, it's almost identical. But the quotations, double quotations, the at symbol, the pipe character, open close brackets, everything is in a different position. Ironically, this is actually the same as modern, uh, or as, as, it's the same as uh, the original keyboards. So it's kind of interesting. So I'm going to reset this real quick to a pre-configuration state, and then I'll walk through how the configuration works. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to boot this up. So while that's booting, I'll show you this real quick. One of the first computers to come out in mass production, I guess, was the ADM3A, and it was actually two years before the Apple II. So, and this right here uses the ADM3A keyboard layout, which as you'll note, is exactly the same as the Japanese industry standard key keyboard layout. And this was not invented in Japan. This just happens to be the layout that used to be used on Unix computers. So it's actually more traditional than the QWERTY keyboard in terms of its layout. So at the start of the system, when you're going to log in, it actually does not recognize Japanese industry standard keyboard, which is a problem for me because that means that the symbols are in different places. So I have to know which keys output the right characters if I happen to be using any awkward characters in my password, and I am. So in that case, you know, obviously I've figured it out, but if you're wondering why you can't log in after you've set your password, that might be related. <clears throat> All right, so the first step is going to be showing you how to configure a keyboard layout. So if you go to do DPKG configuration and keyboard layout, it should autocomplete for you. It's nice and easy. I'm just going to open up a menu where we're going to see generic 105 key international PC. So that's just a generic keyboard. I'm sure it might be different if you're using an actual physical computer and not a virtual machine, but uh, something to point out is that you can scroll up and you will find the Apple Aluminum Keyboard JIS, but it is 100% unnecessary. Both will work exactly the same and have virtually no differences. So we're going to go to generic, and you'll notice this is a list of English keyboard layouts, but we don't want that. We want Japanese. So if you scroll to the bottom, there's an other right at the very bottom, okay? This is going to take you to a list. If you press the J character, it'll scroll right down for you, but if you scroll down, you'll also get to it, and here's Japanese. You want the first one, not the PC-98XX. And then you're going to go up, and the very first option, Japanese, there we go. Despite that there is a Macintosh version, that absolutely that doesn't do anything. The actual Kana map on your keys is not going to be the same as the one that's used by this system. I haven't found a way to make the Kana map work, just the, uh, just the input and the, the normal key map. Uh, as far as the rest of the is options, they're all just defaults. You can leave them as is. Before this goes into effect, you're going to have to reboot the system. So, And because we're going to do that later anyways, I'm going to walk through the rest of it too. The next step is going to be adding a locale. So localities are like the Unicode that your system operates on, and it also has to do with the different things your system is capable of. So like reading and writing various languages. If you don't have the Japanese locale installed, you probably won't be able to read and write in the Japanese character set. So if we scroll down, there is already ENUS starred here. You want to leave that alone. That one we still want. And if you scroll down further, there is a JAJP right here. There are two, but we want the UTF-8 one. It's the best character set. It's most compatible. 
and you'll notice that we have the ability to select a default. Unless you are overly comfortable with Japanese uh, interface, you probably want to select the English interface as the default. So now it's going to go through these, and it's going to generate them, and there we go, all set. Next, we're going to install some prerequisites. Fortunately, there's not very many. TTF, Takao, actually I'm just going to copy and paste it, why not? So the, these three fonts are necessary in order to run uh, input in Japanese as the as a system default. Uh, if you don't have them, it'll let you switch to the other uh, language, but it won't actually it won't actually type anything. And then we're going to install ibus mod c. <clears throat> so yeah, without the fonts, the installation is, of ibus mod c is worthless because you don't have any font to input that supports Japanese characters. So, and I will show you in a second, there are sites out there that give you tons of free downloadable true type fonts uh, that contain full character sets. Uh, one of them in particular is my favorite, and that is the Epson Kyoka Shotai font, which is the textbook font. Uh, it's nice, very similar to what I'm used to from the textbooks that I've been reading uh, for learning the language. So it happens to be one of my favorites. <clears throat> Unfortunately, a lot of them have queerly named font names because the encoding that they were in and the transport over the internet uh, from different binary formats has skewed the, the name. So you may have to use a font editor to change the name prior to installing it, or it'll be very difficult to find it in your font list. So you can ignore this step here. imconfig, I guess, happens automatically now on installation. Um, Maybe you'll need it if you're running Debian Squeeze, I don't know. Uh, so I'll leave it in there just in case. But after we've installed iBus, uh, we'll reboot the system, which will set up the locale, the keyboard, and everything else for us. And then I'll show you how the uh, iBus is configured. So this is a site with the different fonts. Uh, Epson makes a whole bunch of them. Uh, but like I said, the Epson Kyokushotai right here is one of my favorites. It's a very clean font. It's cleaner than this image makes it look like. So, And it also catches all the different characters. Like, for example, the squiggle here is often represented just by a line, as in this one here. So that makes it really hard to to learn the language when you're trying to figure out how to actually physically write it. So, some quirks. Alright, so now we're going to reboot the system, and when it reboots, I will have uh, access to all my keys in the correct places, so like when I press the at symbol where it appears on my keyboard, it will actually print out the at symbol. Like, to do the quotation symbol, I just had to press the symbol for the asterisk. So, that's a little awkward. <coughs> Now the input is the right input, so the keys are in the right places, and in a moment I'll show you real quick. So this keyboard icon up here is iBus, and I'll show you how to configure that. Uh, if I hold shift, those are the keys that are above my numbers. So. And they are now mapped correctly. If you click it, you'll have a no input window. That's because we haven't selected any inputs for it. So you want to right click it or double click and preferences. We're going to go to input methods first and we want to select Japanese. Mal C, add. There we go. Next, we're going to go to general. And for switching, it has a whole bunch of defaults and you might use one of these by default on your keyboard. If you're using like a US keyboard, maybe one of these will be important. But for the most part, all I see is a whole bunch of stuff that's not all that useful. So I'm just going to get rid of all the ones that aren't aren't on my keyboard, and I'm going to use my Kana key. Actually, no, I'm not going to use my Kana key for that. I'm going to use it for enabling, not for enable disable. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this one too. As far as I know, the next input method only works if you had other languages besides Japanese. It does not work between switching the between the character sets. So like, it won't switch between katakana and hiragana. So we're going to 
select my katakana hiragana key, click OK. It, that key is specific to my keyboard layout, so if you're using an English keyboard, you may have to use a different one. Same with the Mufun Khan. So we're going to add those, and I'm just going to do this real quick. So now if I open up my thing here and I press the Kana key, you'll notice the icon up in the upper corner went from the keyboard to uh, Hiragana character, but you'll notice that I am now, oh, okay, yeah, Hiragana, all right. So there we go, all set. Now if I want to switch to Katakana, I can hold Shift and press the Kana key again, and then if I start typing, now it's in Katakana. So, and then if I press just the Kana key again, it's back to Hiragana. I have not figured out the key combos to switch between Hiragana and Katakana on the English keyboard layout using uh, iBus. I've read a bunch of bugs about that, so I don't know if it's something that can be configured or if it just uses some specific defaults. Um, but I hope this video is helpful in instructing you how to set up uh, Japanese input on a Debian installation. Uh, please do leave me feedback, uh, and best of luck to you.